Hello everyone, what's going on and welcome back to another edition of Flick News, the show here on Flick Direct, where I give you guys the latest stab in the entertainment news throughout the week, and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Austin Putnam, and this week, guys, was actually a pretty good week for movie news. Concert films are a thing that still exists. I mean, the Justin Bieber film, there's a Katy Perry film, the Metallica film, which I absolutely love, by the way, but there hasn't really been, actually, no, Moon Age Daydream was a concert film, as far as I'm aware, and they're a thing that had definitely drawn big crowds, particularly due to how big that band or how big how that singer is. When it comes to the music that I primarily listen to, I 95% of the time listen to either rock, hard rock, metal. If there's one particular artist that I never got into, that was Taylor Swift. Now, that is in no way in me dissing Taylor Swift at all because I recognize that Taylor Swift has a lot of talent, but I just never got into Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's current concert tour, the Eras Tour, if I'm not mistaken, is currently going on right now and has gotten such big ticket sales that get this, guys. There is actually going to be a concert movie for those who did not get to go see her actually live in person. This concert became such a a huge hit that tickets were sold out not only within hours but within minutes and guys get this this thing is so huge that only one not two but three films were delayed three films not only delayed well not just do it but the three films i have to talk about actually got pushed around. One of the films is a new Hilary Swank film called Ordinary Angels, never even heard of the film. Another film is a new Meg Ryan film called What Happens Later, but the thing, the film that got delayed, that I'm actually shocked got, well not really delayed, this film was actually releasing earlier because of this, and that is The Exorcist Believer, a big Warner Brothers horror film, got released earlier because of a Taylor Swift concert film. Congrats to Taylor Swift for causing many other films out there, well three films, but still. Congrats to Taylor Swift for moving other films. That is absolutely insane and I have to talk about this because it is just so darn nuts. When it comes to my bucket list in terms of traveling, there is something I've loved to visit one day and that is the Toronto International Film Festival aka TIFF. The reason why I mentioned is because TIFF is currently going on right now and there have been a couple of films that have debuted at TIFF, like, for example, Da Money debuted at TIFF. I will be seeing that movie very, very soon. I'm really looking forward to that. And most recently, Taika Waititi's new film, Next Goal Wins, did debut, and it got some great reception. The reason I'm talking about this particular thing is because... When Taika Waititi was introduced in the film, he had an impromptu boxing fight <laughs> with the microphone to the point where he punched the mic so much, he broke the microphone. Taika Waititi broke a microphone at the Toronto International Film Festival. <laughs> this whole thing is just absolutely hilarious knowing that such a big filmmaker like him <laughs> i have no more to say very small update a very small story but i had to share it because i find this absolutely hilarious this particular thing is a thing that i know a lot of people have been waiting for myself included for those of you who have been waiting to see the end of the dcu and that film is well aquaman the lost kingdom people have been speculating Where's your trailer? Because Aquaman The Lost Kingdom comes out literally in just over four months. It is absolutely insane that this film is coming out very, very soon. Sooner than we expected in the film has not had even a trailer. The first official trailer for Aquaman The Lost Kingdom is coming in four days. Finally. A lot of people are speculating that the film sure didn't come out because, because the film is bad. People. For those of you who may not realize this, Aquaman The Lost Kingdom is a VFX heavy film. Whether it's shots that have CG elements or full on shots that are just nothing but CG, and I guarantee this film has thousands upon thousands of visual effects shots, and I guarantee. 
that James Wan wanted to wait until these shots looked good until he was ready to release the trailer. So you know what? I completely understand it. And you know what? Given from the preview, which by the way, there is a preview that is up, by the way, on Twitter right now. Given from the preview that was shown on Twitter... I'm actually looking forward to watching this trailer. I actually had a really good time with watching the first Aquaman film. It's not a particularly a great film per se, but I do think it's a lot of fun. I had a great time watching it when I first saw it in the theaters. I'm looking forward to seeing what James Wan's going to do with the sequel. Hopefully this film ends the DCU on a high note before we go into James Gunn's DCU. And that is going to wrap things up for this week's show. Please comment on this level starting off. How do you guys feel about Taylor Swift's concert film causing three films to change release dates how crazy is that when it comes to tiff are you guys currently at tiff and what film that debuted at tiff are you looking forward to thing to seeing most when it comes to aquaman the lost kingdom are you excited to see this trailer are you excited to see the film when it comes out this december let us know below i hope you'll enjoy this week's show if so please hit that like button also share and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest new show goes live if you guys want to see in for two new shows please click on right there or right there and of course until next week's new show goes live we'll see you all next week have a wonderful week guys hit like smash subscribe and get notified for when our reviews interviews and news go live